Yo, what is up everybody? It's Sean here today, and I'm just bringing you guys a really quick commentary. I just want to break y'all some news. Sean Payton of the New Orleans Saints. He signs with the Saints, he re-signs. I know at first, like, there were some issues with the league not letting him re-sign with the Saints. And now, you know, they agreed to, like, a five-year deal. And, you know, I think this is really big for the Saints. As a Falcons fan, you know, this could be, you know, like... You know, you always want to see your rival, you know, do bad. But at a point, you respect them. Well, at least if they're, you know, a good rival and it's a good matchup. And, you know, for them to get Sean Payton, and, you know, I love Sean Payton as a coach. You know, I love Drew Brees as a quarterback, you know. Well, I kind of, you know, not really Drew Brees anymore. You know, after last season, you know, I didn't really start to like him as much. But, you know, I do hate the Saints with a passion. But, you know, I just... You know, like Sean Payton as a coach, and you know it's great to see him resign with the Saints. You know, and it and it does bring a you know interesting story as you know Drew Brees. You know he he might be uh retiring soon. He's getting up there in age. Actually, you know he might be like thirty. Um, you know, so it's not really retirement that I'm looking at. It's really more of a point. You know that um. You know how the team is going to do because this year was very disappointing. They're not going to make the playoffs, and now they have the head coach, which I thought was the main problem was the coach. You know, and I want to know how he's going to go in there and you know get this team back on track and you know get that defense because I don't think anything's well. There, there might be some flaws with the offense, but it's really that defense. And you know, I might you know I'm like sitting here and like damn you know. And I think Sean Payton, he's going to demand something out that defense. I think a lot of those players in the defense next year are not going to be on that team. Uh, Malcolm Jenkins and Roman Harper, you know, I I personally never really liked them both. And now, you know, this year they did terrible. Um, you know, your top two defensive players, you know, are supposed to do good. And Malcolm Jenkins and Roman Harper, you know, are, I would have to say, you know, when they're one of the top players on the Saints defense next to, like, Curtis Lofton, uh, Jabari Greer. He's pretty good, I'm pretty sure. Um, they, have, they have some in, uh, in uh, Will Smith. He's pretty good, too. But, you know, they're supposed to be the key of the secondary, and, you know, they did terrible, you know, stats-wise, you know. That this is just looking at stats, and I know a lot of Saints fans, you know, y'all might have an argument, well, you don't watch the games, and no, I don't. So, um so, you know, it's a big, it's big for, you know, I think, you know, the whole franchise because it's a five-year deal. So, it seems like, you know, he he's willing to stay. And I don't think New Orleans is going to, you know, be willing to fire him unless he, you know, uh, goes completely rock bottom. So, you know, thank you guys for watching this video. You know, leave, leave your feedback. Like, leave the comments, you know, because I want to hear it. Um, You know, I want to, I want to hear what y'all think because, you know, it, it's good to have, you know, arguments on your comments. You know, you never know. Because I know a lot of people are going to disagree, you know. Maybe something I said. Or maybe even agree. Because, you know, um, I have Falcons fans on my page. I know I've seen a couple of Saints fans trolling me. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. And peace.